By the end of the Battle of Mohi in 1241, the outnumbered Mongolian army has managed to successfully surround and encircle the Hungarian army in their camp. These European forces here had actually fought very bravely, inflicting a surprising amount of damage on the Mongols. But in the end here it didn't really matter, because unfortunately for them, not only were they facing one of the greatest armies to ever have set foot on the battlefield, this 13th century Mongol army is being led by one of the most intelligent, ruthless, creative commanders ever. Subadai has executed a work of genius as always, successfully enveloping them here, and at this late stage of the battle he has King Bela and the rest of the Hungarians at his mercy. Unfortunately for them, he's not a very merciful man. So he orders his men to begin sieging them in their camp, right? Flaming arrows, rocks, the works. But you see, the Mongols are brilliant, as they are vicious. So they execute a plan that should significantly lower the cost of victory. They execute a fake flight trap. And what they do is they'd run this play where they'd leave a gap in their encirclement, right? Kind of like this here. And what this gap was designed to do was it was designed to trigger an emotional sp response in these trapped Hungarians, right? If you put yourself in the shoes of one of these men here, your death is pretty much an inevitability if you stay in your camp, right? You have a 0% survival rate if you stay. But here's this gap that's opened up, right? Here's this mistake we made that if you run, it gives you maybe a 1% chance of living. The Hungarians at this battle, acting on their survival instinct, see this gap and they take the bait. They ditch their weapons, armor, and most importantly, they leave behind the safety and strength of their camp, right? And a mad dash begins where it's every man for himself. They run out into the open, but they fall in for the Mongol plan, right? This is exactly what the Mongols wanted them to do. Because out in the open, separated from the rest of their men, they are incredibly easy to pick off. It must have been incredibly easy for these skilled Mongolian riders to simply come up behind the Hungarians and eliminate them. No resources needed. No loss of lives needed. Now, to highlight the efficiency of this tactic, I'm going to draw a graph here. And on the y-axis, I'm going to write MC. MC stands for Mongolian casualties, but really we can take it to mean Mongolian supplies as well, like arrows and weapons. And on the x-axis here, I'm going to write time. Now, let's consider for a second that the Hungarians stayed in their camp and they decided to fight to the last man. Well, then the Mongolians would have had to have spent a lot of effort, right? A lot of men and resources in digging them out, creating a graph that maybe looks like this. In a battle where they've already encountered, you know, relatively high losses. But this transformation in battlefield formation created by the fake flight trap makes killing the men an endeavor that eats up far fewer resources. And it might have created a gap, a, sorry, a graph, and it might create a graph that maybe looks like this. This gap between the two graphs here represents the efficiency of the Mongol army. Being outnumbered at most battles tended to foster this amazing creativity in them in the manipulation of human emo emotions towards a very violent goal. You have to imagine that this efficiency was kind of a necessary one to the Mongols being so far away from Mongolia, they have to conserve as much as possible. Now, just how violent and efficient was this tactic? Well, we actually have eyewitness accounts come down to us from the battle itself. Thomas of Spalato, who was a historian that lived during this time, interviewed people who had actually witnessed this carnage. And what they told them was that the route that the Hungarians tried to flee along was strewn with so many corpses that the ground had become dyed crimson from their blood. Thank you so much for watching. If you can like and subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Any constructive crit criticism, I always welcome. And I'll see you all next video. Thank you.